Ryan Drell here for Fight Bananas, and you know who my next guest is. It's El Valiente Fernando Padilla, who will be back in action at UFC Tampa December the 14th when he takes on Sean Woodson. Fernando, how are you? Yeah, really good. And you, my brother? I'm good. I'm good. Did I lose you there for a minute? Yeah, I think I, I got a call that got in, but uh, that is good. Can you hear me? Everything good? Everything's good. We're, we're, we're all set. I'm excited okay, for this fight, my man. You and Sean Woodson, you know, this really should be, I, I think, quite an exciting stand-up fight. Was that kind of like your immediate thought when you heard of this matchup? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was I was just saying that it's, it's, uh, for me, it's really funny because uh, this is one of the fights that I kind of knew that if I get into the UFC, it was going to happen. It was, uh, I don't know, I have, I, have a, I have a list of like a few ones, but it's been pretty much something that I've been looking forward to since, since I, even when I started fighting, you know, like uh, in the UFC, when I, when I fought Julian, when I was studying for, uh, for Julian, who Julian fought? Sean Woodson. So like, it, it, it was just funny. I, I kind of knew that this was going to happen for a fact. And you guys have very similar body types, I'd have to say, right? Very tall, long, lean fighters. Like, is there going to be much of a of a size difference here, or a reach advantage or disadvantage? Do you know? Uh yeah, I think this is the first. Uh, Sean is the first person who have a uh, higher reach than me. Uh, he's uh, 70, 78, I think so. I'm seventy six. Uh, he's also six feet two. That's that's weird because it's, it's all uh, it's always how they measure me. I feel that sometimes people measure me six two. Some sometimes they 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 measure six one. So I don't know. I have to see it at that point. I have to see it in front, you know. So, but at least reach wise, yeah, he's a little bit longer. But uh, I mean, I'm ready for it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're getting all the looks that you need in camp. But do you feel like you fought anyone? as dangerous on the outside as him before uh yeah yeah uh if if you go and look at my record obviously this one is not there but i had a muay thai fight a professional muay thai fight and the guy who i fought on that was uh, a tall guy too it was a six four guy and uh i mean i i trained pretty hard for it i guess the distance is a little bit different but uh I'm long too, and I know how to use it, and I know how people use it too. That I feel that that's a big advantage on myself. Uh, and I think, I think at the end of the day, uh, for Sean, uh, people like me is his kryptonite, and he's been showing on 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 the fights. Uh, I think when you can match his size, and uh, can you, and if you have a little bit more power than him, you can you can uh, do a lot of damage to him. And I think that's what's going to happen with me. You did mention that you expected this fight to eventually happen, but did you think it was going to happen so soon? Because Sean's a guy that's been in the UFC for a while now and was kind of, I feel like he's kind of knocking on that door to the top 15 with some of the most recent wins. And you're brand new in the UFC, right? So you're kind of, you know, making your way now. Did you feel that like this is a fight that was going to happen so soon? Or did you think it maybe down the line it was going to happen? Uh, I knew it was going to happen, like I said, but uh, I'm excited it's right now. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm not here to just be, a, a one of a, a normal fighter, right? I want to make it to the top 15. I want to make it in the top 10. I want to be a champion. I said it since the beginning, even though he's been more in the UFC than me. Uh, I think that I've been, I've been fighting for a minute, you know, also I've been having, I have my, my fair amount of fights. Uh, I mean, 16, 16 and five as a record in, in a small record for, for us as a 27 year old. I know people who's. 30 and don't have like even two fights. So, you know, I, I, I feel pretty comfortable in that. I don't think, uh, probably I already experienced the apex I already experienced the, the big arena. So I don't think he, at this point he have like an advantage on me, uh, in terms of experience, the and, uh, like experiencing the, the scene and then like the people. So I'm just excited to go just fight. Uh, I know he ain't a guy who's shy away from punches. And like you say, it looks like it's going to be a striking fight. So oh, I'm really excited. That's what I like. <laughs> yeah, this one definitely uh, is going to be a fight that the fans are going to be really excited to watch. We're going to come back to this matchup with Sean. I do have a bunch of other stuff I want to ask you right now. Uh, as far as camp goes, I just saw you were in New York at USC 309. Can you repeat it again? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, as far as camp goes, I saw that you were just in New York at UFC 309. One of your boys made his UFC debut. H how does that affect you when you're in camp, when, you know, you got to travel and go the opposite end of the country and support one of your teammates? 
Uh, honestly, uh, it, it happened really fast. They called him on Monday, and uh, by by Tuesday, Wednesday, we were uh, he had it already figured out. Uh, I knew I knew as soon as they offered you the fight, he was going to say yes. Uh, Robert Robert shy, like Robert ain't shy for a fight. You know, he 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 was going to bring it, and that's what he did. Uh, in terms of the trip, trip was hard. I hate I I I, I hate being on a plane. I'm tall as fuck, you know. So it, it's it's really difficult, but. At the same time, uh, my two coaches were there. My my boxing coach and my and coach Colin were there. Uh, Chui Chui, uh, Chui and, and coach Colin were there, and uh, it was almost like having like twenty four hours with them, private private time with them. So uh, we were pretty focused on the job that was uh, Robert fighting. But I was I was able to train there too. I was able to to hit some pads and move around, and I felt great. I I think it didn't. It it was also. Three days. It, it, we didn't stay there the entire week because it was so short of a notice. So it, it, I didn't felt it that 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 much of like a change in my camp. I still have four weeks, and uh, before that, I've been training like I have a camp for like the past four months. So I, I'm ready, man. I'm I'm excited for this. I'm really happy that that what happened with Robert uh, really pumped me up. Uh, he's there already, and but now it's time for for us to to get those wins. I know his next fight is gonna be it's gonna be way different to what the, you guys saw, and in terms of like he's gonna win, <laughs> that's what I believe, and uh, that's 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 just more motivation, you know. And and I feel motivated. I I just want to fight now. I saw that on the corner, and I just wanted to fucking fight. <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine, man. Well, he definitely came to fight. He put on a really good performance against a tough veteran in David Onama. So excited to see what's next for Romero. What What was your takeaway of Madison Square Garden and just the spectacle of UFC 309 in general? How crazy of an event was that? It, it was actually pretty crazy. I think uh, in the three times that I've been on shuttles uh, to the arenas or to the Apex, uh, they never they never stop us and tell us, hey, open the hood, open the trunk. You know, and they, they pass with dogs and then you realize it's a secret service and you realize that the president is going to be there. Um, as, as a fight fan, everything was impressive. The, they're obviously my first time in, in, in uh, Madison Square Garden, too. That was amazing. And then uh, uh, seeing Robert, uh, seeing Joan Jones, seeing Stephen Miocic, seeing uh, Charles Oliveira, you know, uh, incredible it was an incredible really really good experience uh again motivation for me i want to be there uh i want to i want to be the next one fighting there so uh but yeah like that, that's it's just exciting and, and motivation though <laughs> yeah. man charles Oliveira is so good and michael chandler is just damn tough uh, you, you gotta put him away to actually get a win over him that guy is is just as durable as they come yeah he does he does it's, it was a good it was a good fight it was a good fight uh I have my I have, I have my things, you know. I, I don't like I don't like how uh, Chandler is a little bit of a dirty guy, and it just keeps showing up more and more in the in the fights that he's having. And you know, people like that, I feel that they get they get really cocky because people is uh, avoiding them, but they don't understand that man. You would try to you try to avoid those guys because you're gonna get like seriously injured. Not not too much because of like oh he can win the fight, but. Man, those twenty shots in the back of the head were completely unnecessary. The way that he was poking eyes, um, and more when when Charles is such a professional, right? Like he was trying to stay professional. Uh, uh, for me, that honestly is just like, ah. Uh, but yeah. uh, incredible fight, incredible fight. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I, I got to get your take just on Joan Stipe. To me, watching it at home, Stipe just kind of looked old. He he didn't look like the same guy. Did did you agree with that, or or do you feel like Jones made him look old? Uh, yeah, brother. I, I I'll be honest with you. Seeing Stipe in person, wow! Like that guy looked. He didn't look old after the weigh-ins. He didn't look old with the way that he was moving. Uh. It's an impressive guy. He's big. He's it he was thick too. He, he didn't look like he suffered or nothing on on the weight cut. Uh, and 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 like I said, is like at this point, betting on against Jones is just stupid. You know, it's just stupid. So um, Jones just went and did. Hey, we we we've been without seeing Jones like so often. Like we used to see him before. But he literally just did a uh, Joan Jones fight. He performed exactly like he performed the other times. He picked apart his his opponent, 
and um, make him look easy, make him look old. And I mean, that's what happened uh, in the moment. And and personally, Stipe didn't look bad. Stipe didn't look like he was composed. He was there. Uh, physically, he looked ready. And oh my God, what Jones did is is just yeah. John Jones, man. John Jones. <laughs> <laughs> that kick to the ribs was nasty. Uh, does John Jones beat Tom Aspinall? <laughs> I don't. I don't know, man. I think he's just a chill guy. Uh, but. <laughs> But I don't know, bro. It's 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 hard. It's a really hard thing. It's a hard topic, and more because of, listen, like I said, betting against Jones is stupid. But the way that he's been talking about it, it makes people feel that Aspinall have more opportunity than what than what he seems to, right? Uh, just seeing Jones like dodging it or avoiding that fight kind of feels like he don't want it because he knows he knows it's a little bit better, but then. He goes and performs like this against the the best in the world, right? Stephen Miocic, and then it's like I don't know, bro. I don't know if if, if Aspinall is gonna be is gonna make the difference. Everyone who stepped in front of Jones is gonna make the difference, and it, it just end up not happening. It's gonna be fun to watch when it does happen. I think it will happen eventually. Hey, I I, I fuck you, money, or I don't do it. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're gonna give him that money. <laughs> yeah, he's earned it. That's for sure. Uh, real quick, give me your your MMA Mount Rushmore of all time. Like, if you had to pick, you know, a top four, or just you know, add a fifth person into that mix. Like, who are the best pound for pound mixed martial artists that you've ever seen? Who would be at the top of the list for you? At the time, I feel the first one it has to be Feather. You have to put Feather there for a fact, as uh, because what he did, how he did it, and how like how amazing it was watching Feather and Milenko do and stuff, right? Uh, back in the days when weight classes wasn't a thing, when you have to fight 10-minute round, the first round, you know, those things, uh, believe it or not, they're fucking tough. So Feather number one, uh, I put I put Joan Jones as the second one uh, with with uh, right there in, in Joan Jones and uh, George, George St. Pierre. I think those are the two and three, and then uh, you. Ha I mean, I feel it just because of the name and and how, what he did for the sport. Uh, you have to put Connor there. You have to put Connor there, and and if you want to put a fifth one, you you have to put Khabib, Khabib. just okay. because of the undefeated. You know. Yeah. I like all of those picks. Uh, you, you can't argue that. I mean, everyone's going to have their own, you know, take on, you know, what the criteria is for the best of all time, but all, all of those guys are, are all time greats. Uh, to circle back to, to your fight, you know, we're coming right into to Thanksgiving now, Fernando. And, you know, I don't know what kind of a holiday that's like for you. I know it's big in my household. Is, is that, is that difficult when you're going through like a, a time period where everyone's feasting and kind of stuffing their faces and you're cutting weight? Not really. Uh, like I tell you, I'm uh, well. I'm pretty light. I'm pretty light on weight. I'm pretty good with my weight, and um, I think I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Thanksgiving is a it's it's a celebration that is American. I'm Mexican, and I really didn't have that in my life. But lately, I've been having more of like Thanksgivings, and uh, I feel that it's more about hanging out with the people. Yeah, a lot of people obviously said that oh, you're gonna eat and you have to stuff your face, but just uh, for me the being so far away from home, uh, once I have the opportunity to hang out with, like, uh, right now, the last year was my mom and my dad came for the party of my girlfriend. Uh, they did a Thanksgiving on their own her house. And uh, her family, my family, uh, seeing those things, uh, it's, it's, it makes my day. It makes my, my, my life. It, it filled me up more than food, you know, mm -hmm. like seeing my family, seeing her family, uh, seeing the future, like, uh, I'm also growing up. I'm not like oh, I've been saying this is they interview me in the UFC. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm 27 and and I want to build something else. And and I feel that I'm on my way for it. And uh, it's just that those celebrations feel good to be with my family. That's that's why I enjoy the most. The, the food is extra. I can I can wait till the fight. <laughs> what, what's your weight at today? You're looking pretty lean. Yeah, 158. Wake up 158. Okay. Is that typical <laughs> for you at this stage of the game? Yeah, bro, it's it's really funny because uh, I I usually I'm usually walking around 165. Like this is actually pretty light. I, I I've been I I've, I've been eating a little bit more so I can keep the 160 161. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I start training hard for a camp, obviously my training doubles, triples up, and I still eat the same. I still eat pretty good. It's not like I'm killing myself. Uh, my diet is gonna start in two weeks. 
because of how light I am. So, uh, yeah, man, it's always, it's always like this. I'm, I'm, it's easy. As long as I train hard, I know my body's going to drop. When you're preparing for someone like Sean Woodson, a guy that we know likes to strike, are you putting more of an emphasis in camp on striking or are you still making sure you, you wrestle and do the jujitsu or does that kind of like change depending on the opponent? Uh, it's, th this is something that I was, uh, I was just recently talking it with, uh, with Robert and some of my friends. Uh, I feel that at this point in my career with 20, 20, 20 fights, uh, 20, 21 fights, uh, my style is always the same. Like I, I at least the way that I'm going to fight, I'm going to go there and I'm going to fight. You. Uh, if we're going to go to the ground, if we're going to start wrestling, okay, that's, that's good. That's going to happen. I'm ready for it. I, I I'm well-rounded for it. Uh, but I like to fight. I like to hit people. I, I really like that. I really like to stay on top. I really like to, to, to feel the contact and, and just, uh, I don't shy away from, 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 uh, from confrontation and, and, and I'm excited for it because again, Sean is the type of guy who brings this. So that's the fights that I do my best. That's the fights. That's when I feel more comfortable in the cage and that's when I'm going to go perform and, and, and just have fun. Uh, once you have a guy that like, Oh, he's going to constantly take you down. Obviously the focus needs to change and, and, and you need to make some changes, but I don't think this fight is going to be like that. Even if he tried to take me down, I'll, I'll be ready for it. Like I say, I'm well-rounded for a reason. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to go there and, and have a fight. And more because I've been waiting so long for it, yeah. honestly. <laughs> it's been a while, man. I think the last time we yeah. spoke was right before your round one win over Luis uh, po Poelo back in like March, if I'm not yes, mistaken. Sir. So it's been a long time. Why Why has it been so long? I don't know, man. I, I've been trying to stay. I, I honestly wanted to fight three times this year. And that was like my goal, but it didn't happen. Uh, um, I pushed four fights. I thought I was going to fight on, on September. It didn't happen. And then they give me, they offer me a short notice fight uh, like a month ago. I say, yes, it was going to be on Florida. Uh, my opponent said, no, it is whatever. Uh, but that kind of blue ball me, but I've been ready. I've been asking. I also asked for for this last, last card on, on, on the Madison Square Garden. I saw a lot of people was getting hurt and stuff. And I asked for that. Uh, the opportunity opened for something else, and 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 I'm really happy that it was my brother, the one who fought. But uh, but yeah, man, I again, that part is just motivation, and not fighting is just gonna get me better. Uh, the more time that you give me to get ready, the more the the better that I get. I, I live in the gym. I I'm on the gym every day, all day, and and I don't I don't I don't have nothing else to do here in California, here in America. Like my family, everything is back home. I just have to go train, come back home, and sleep, and that's it. So I do it right, and I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the world that the like, bro I just want to be a champion. <laughs> so you're even better now versus when we saw you last in March. That's pretty scary. Um, yes, who said no to you in in uh, Florida? Who who turned down the fight? Uh, it was a guy from Florida. Oh, actually, the fight was gonna be on uh, Vegas. It was uh, uh, I forgot my my teammate Luana Pinedo fought on that fight, but I forgot what what was the main card. Uh, but yeah, it was going to be a fight card on uh, a fight night on, um, on Vegas, but the guy was for Florida and, uh, it, it, the hurricane was happening exactly when, when wow. they offered him the fight, he said no, because, uh, the, the hurricane complications and I understand God bless him, you know, um, uh, it's a Brazilian dude. I forgot his name. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Okay. Uh, that's all right. I just figured I'd ask. I'll have to go look through the UFC roster at your weight class and figure out maybe who it is. Uh, as far as Sean Woodson goes, do you feel like one of you guys has a big advantage with speed or power? Like when you look at your stand up versus his, how do you how do you break that down? I think I have more weapons. That's it. I think he likes to do what he likes to do, and and, and he really don't change it a lot. Uh, and the weapons that I can put inside of the cage is, is what makes me really dangerous. And I think he's going to start feeling it. You know, he's going to start feeling those kicks, those elbows, those knees, those punches, and, uh, he's not going to like it. Uh, uh, I think he have at least, uh, numbers, the number, the number part, he put, he puts a lot of numbers on the fights, but, uh, I mean, you have to land those numbers sometimes. So, so let's see, let's see what, uh, how it happened. I think I'll have the edge. Uh, I believe with the study that I've been putting on Sean that uh, 
I'm uh, my body type. My 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 type of body is his kryptonite. Once once someone can match his height or a little bit of his of, of his uh, reach, he have trouble. Uh, and it's not like he does wrong against them. It's just he have trouble, and he's noticeable. So I, I, I'm gonna be trouble for him. So based on what you're saying, uh, my my assumption would be you're gonna kind of like wear him down as the fight goes along. Do you think you can get him out of there later in the fight, or do you anticipate having to maybe beat him via decision? So every time I think, every time I think that like I'm gonna finish someone, it just end up being completely different. So like my mindset when I go to these fights is. It's, I'm going to fight 15 minutes. I'm going to be there 15 minutes punishing you. It doesn't matter what you do, who you are. I'm going to be there punching you, uh, hitting you, making you hurt. I don't, I don't believe that my style is like, they, you know, they say flow like water and that's cool. I believe my, my, my style is more like fire. Every time I hit you, it hurts. Every time you hit me, it hurts you too. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna be like that. It's, just, it's uh, I'm gonna bring that heat. I'm gonna bring that pressure and that fire, and he's gonna get burned if he start if he keeps playing with it. You know. Wow, that's a great analogy. You, uh, you should probably use that a little bit more leading up to the fight. I think people will use that as, as like a uh, headline clip because that's that's pretty darn good, my man. Uh, yes, it, is. As far as, you know, if you do get this win, this is this be a big win. It'd easily be the biggest win of your career so far. I mean, like I was saying earlier, Fernando, that this got to like put you right there on the back end of the top 15 because I feel like Sean's there already. Is that what you think too? Like, are you going to be looking at maybe like a 15, 16 ranked guy if you get this win? Yes, sir. That's what we're looking for. That's what that's that's exactly what we're looking for. Like I said, I'm, I'm here to be a champion. I'm, I'm here to be a, a challenger, a, a champion. And uh, I think... You know how you say like Sean has been there for a minute, so it is isn't impressive for me to be there. I mean, Julian was was there for he's been in the UFC for a minute on and off, and again on. So like, yeah. I I fought with him, didn't didn't shy away. Uh, Kyle Nelson was doing really good. He's still doing really good, and I still fight him. You know, I, I don't I don't mind fighting veterans. This is why I came for. You know, like I feel that that's why Coach Colin prepared me so well outside of the UFC. He told me. You need the double numbers. You need the double digits on your record. How many people in my in my in my division have double digit numbers? Pretty much the top fifteen, you know. So I need to be there. I be, I believe I'm gonna be there, and I believe like this is one more step, you know, one more step, one more stair, and I'm I'm gonna go up on it. Can't wait to see you back in there, man. December 14th is right around the corner. Give me a prediction of the main event. It's now Colby Covington and Joaquin Buckley. Who do you see winning that? I think Buckley by knockout. Oh, okay, that would be that, that'd be a big win for for Buckley. Co Co Covington's wrestling too presents a lot of problems. The way he mixes up his boxing, do you, do you feel like? I mean, if Buckley beats him, man, he could be in line for you know a title shot ar around the corner. Do you think he would have beaten Ian Gary, or would you have picked a Gary to beat Buckley? I think Ian is a harder fight just because of uh, body types. Body types. I think Ian knows uh, how to use his height a little bit more. And not too much like Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy is more of a of, of a Taekwondo type of guy. He's moving in and out, and he had the same stand. Uh, Ian understand a little bit more of what uh, MMA is. He don't he don't go with that side stance or nothing. He he have a good good understanding of MMA. And I think his body type, his height, and the way that he used his distance is that it was going to be the problem for Buckley. The 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 fight with uh, Kobe, the thing is that yeah, his wrestling is really good, but you know what we saw when when we saw Islam and and Bulk, I think that's gonna happen here. Buckley have a little bit more of uh, the sh he's shorter than than well at least for what I I can I think mm -hmm. he's shorter than Kobe. So like for Kobe, it's gonna be really hard to just go down and take him down and take him down. You know, I, I believe in his wrestling. That's why he, that he's been showing it for a long time, but. Uh, yeah, Buckley is a little tank and yeah. he stopped a takedown and he hits you one. That's pretty much done. And uh, Kobe don't have that. Kobe need to grind you out and grind you out. So I, I, I got, I got Buckley. It's going to be a fun fight, man. Uh, real quick to switch back to your division. Toporia knocks out Holloway. First guy to ever do it. I didn't see it coming. What, what was your takeaway from that? And, and how good is Ilya Toporia? Uh, I think Ilya's just. Good, really, really good. Don't get me wrong. He's uh, he's a champion for a reason. Uh, I think there there's uh, he's beatable. He's he he's for sure beatable. I think uh, it's just 
what happened with Ilias, what happened with with Connor is funny because it did happen the same way. They they it's not like they didn't fight good guys, but they fight the right guys to get where they at. And then uh, on the process, some of them kind of show some of the of the of the weaknesses, you know. Uh, but but they they were able to fix those weaknesses and then keep going with the fight. And they uh, he he pretty much came on top of every single fight because of that. He I think his mindset is what gets him how he is. The way that he believes in himself is really important. Uh, and if you want to beat Ilya, you have to beat that. You have to beat the way that he believes in himself. Uh, that's the way that Connor got beat before. You know, it's it's not it's not it's not new. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, for me. I think it's just that. Is uh, it's gonna guy? It's gonna get to a guy and probably me. <laughs> but uh, but a guy who's gonna break that break that belief in himself. You know, because as much as he believes in himself, other people does too. You know, like and 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 at one point he's gonna find a guy who believe more than him and he's going to get in trouble. So you think he beats Volk when they fight again, when the rematch happens? Uh, it depends how hungry Volk is. If, if hungry, if, if Volk is really, really like, Hey man, I want to take this, this loss back. Like I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get you. I think that mindset is going to, uh, is going to be a hard fight. Uh, but if he comes, just ah uh, man, I just want to fight him again. Let's see if I get the title. He's gonna get knocked out. Uh, Ilya is, is dangerous like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of fun fights to to have at 145 moving forward. Fernando, great talking to you again, my man. Can't wait to see you back in there again, December 14th, UFC Tampa. Before we do officially sign off today, man, I want to give you the floor. If there's anything you want to plug or anyone you want to thank, floor is yours. I uh, just. Just always thank you to my family, to my friends, to the people here that, that, that in California that it's always with me. Uh, the people from Hard Work Fitness helping me with the, my striking and my and my uh, uh, pretty much everything for this fight with the guy guys, big tall guys over there. Uh, Timo Yama always in my heart, always with me. Uh, my my home, my family. Uh, I love you guys all. My family, my sponsors. Thank you so much. Let's let's get this one in. <laughs>